Hello friends, welcome to lecture number 11. In this lecture, you will learn how to do the synchronization in Selenium. We will look at how to add the page load timeout, then how to add implicit timeout, how to add explicit conditions timeout as well. Let us start right away. Over here, we have created one test sync method. And to set the page load timeout, you can use this particular syntax driver.manage.timeouts.set page load timeout and here we are given the 8 seconds so you can increase this timeout because most of the pages may take more time to load the page to set the implicit timeout you can use this particular syntax implicitly wait and here you can give the timeout so the significance of this statement is that we are telling the selenium driver to wait uh, for the element for maximum of 30 seconds and if element uh, doesn't appear uh, within that 30 seconds exception will be thrown saying that no such element exception so this applies to all the elements on all the web pages so, or the driver session then explicit timeout in here what happens is that we can give the explicit conditions uh, and or the timeout for the specific elements for example we have specified here new web driver wait and 20 seconds then what we are doing is we are given uh, uh, different different conditions like you have to wait until title contains this word then wait until the element this element exists then wait until this element is visible wait until this element is clickable wait until the url contains this particular word wait until the alert is present so you can give various kinds of conditions expected conditions and uh, it will wait for maximum this much time out M maximum this much time for any of these conditions to become true and if the condition doesn't become true in that particular time period exception will be thrown so this is uh, element specific doesn't apply to all the elements only applies to specific elements that are mentioned over here while in the implicit way we do not specify any element it is applies to the all the elements in the session driver session so what I'm gonna do is just execute this particular line of uh, particular test and then see how it works so notice that this web driver wait is in this particular uh, namespace support.ui and for that you will need that uh, reference web driver dot support reference is required for that so it entered this Donald in that and test has passed so that is how you can work with the uh, implicit timeouts explicit timeouts in selenium in csharp.net that ends our lecture number 11 that is adding synchronization points in selenium and in this lecture we have seen how to add the page load timeout implicit timeout explicit timeouts in selenium in csharp.net thanks for watching this video